friends, how's it going? So I hope all is well and your week is going great. So a few weekends ago, I got to go back home to the wonderful city of Toronto and attend Buffer Festival. For those of you who don't know, Buffer Festival is a weekend long festival which celebrates online video and the creators and basically just puts up a whole bunch of content on the big screen in a theater and it's so much fun and so inspirational. Um, but yeah. I was also fortunate enough to go last year, so I'll put a link to that right up there if you want to see that as well. Anyways, this year was a little bit different being the third year they added a creator day, which was really a lot of fun and really good information on how to sort of make YouTube your job or how to deal with brands and copyright and all that information. Um, I found it super helpful as a creator myself who thinks it'd be kind of fun to do this full time. Anyways, I will leave you to the vlog. It's a little bit choppy because I'm still working on those vlogging skills. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end of the video. And we were just like, no, Buffer's not for you. Buffer's not for you. It's for the YouTubers. It's for just putting videos in theaters and that's it. And there were a lot of companies that said, hey, we want to come and we want to learn how to do YouTube, how to do YouTube properly. And year one, I was like, look, we don't know what we're getting into. I'd like to give maybe a very tactical, like, easy to use uh, tip for, for business, for negotiations. When, you, when uh, a brand reaches out, try to name your price first. At the end of the day, they're, they're not subscribed to uh, funny videos, you know, you can go to like college humor for that, you know, they're subscribed to me as a person, so they're gonna appreciate uh, what I'm doing and like the sketch I write and like the rant I make or whatever, so I feel like if you build your brand as this is me, this is my personality, this is who I am, then it's like, they're, and they're subscribed to you, then they're down for whatever you're doing, you know? And I think, you know, maybe it's interesting as we kind of enter into this conversation about, per, you, know, what's your, you know, this notion of personal brand, which is a relatively new idea. Maybe it's interesting and useful for people who aspire to create personal brands to take a look at some of the sort of classic, like advertising agency brand modeling, because there is a rigorous process in place and maybe it will help you, um, or maybe it won't help you at all because the other reality is that the majority of people who've succeeded in the space have succeeded because they wanted to make something and they went out and made it. So. Who's to say, but interesting to look at different ways in. Many of you can watch 360 video and create 360 video. And it's a whole new medium. It's an experience. You're creating an experience for the audience. It's not the same as a story. There is a story in there, but there's a challenge. If something really exciting happens over there and the audience is looking over here, that's a problem. All right, so Creator Day <laughs> is happening. It's in the works. Stu is here with me today. Um, and we're just going to get some food because we're on lunch. Uh, there were some really good talks this morning. And they were talking about sort of like copyright stuff, how to make YouTube more of a job. I still can't believe Ben Brown was there. Yeah, Ben Brown was on one of the panels, which was super sick. Um, but it was really neat sort of hearing their advice. Uh, and sort of what they had to say about it because you know they're doing it professionally and that's really sick so yeah anyways we're going to get food so we'll see what we can find one month ago I don't think any of these videos had even been shot <laughs> we received a lot of these files yesterday <laughs> and you should see the chaos backstage. <laughs> how unhappy they wanted to approve it, and there's legal teams, and then there's this and that. And I'm like, nope, that's not how YouTube works. So I'd love a round of applause for the creators. Um, I don't like anything about the roasts. Uh, I'm an easy target. You know, very <laughs> handsome, okay. super tall, yeah. fast. And so after the comedian's like, that guy! Yeah. Like, like for example, you look beautiful in that dress. Boom! Roast it! No idea who those people are. Hey everyone. <laughs> My name is Jack Douglas, and for those who don't know who I am, I'm one of the only people on YouTube. YouTubers. Let's talk about that word, YouTubers. 
There's kind of a negative connotation with the word YouTuber, am I right? What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> That's a shame. I last year's Buffer, uh, I shot a video and I, I really wanted to, uh, I shot in Toronto and I really wanted to what? I, Corey told me that I could show a video that I shot at Buffer last year, so I don't know if... No, I, we don't have time, look at the, we don't have time. Yeah, I don't care about that, I don't, I don't care about you either, I want to show my video. This is about me. Wait, when did you... Oh no, I shot this at Buffer. No, I shot mine at Buffer, that, that's... Did we? Did we? Did you? I shot! You shot! We both shot this video! She never! So, without further ado, with helmet, with helmet, let's show. show. Let's show. Let's show. Let's show. That we did together. <laughs> and it's entitled so, so, Bounce. Bounce. And it's not a premiere. It's, it's not. It's on YouTube for a long time. Just watch it. But so Corey really liked it. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so we just got home from the gala. It was so much fun. So we have no screenings or anything tomorrow, but we're headed to. Uh, three of the screenings on Sunday, so it'll be a busy day, but we will make it through with coffee and caffeine and yep. And on that note, I'm going to bed. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we're at the Travel and Adventure Meetup and look who I found! Will! Will. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah! Well, stop vlogging, stop crashing the vlog. <laughs> How's it going? Okay. How's your buffers? It's been amazing, amazing, yeah. yeah, it's been good so far. This is our first screening, so, yeah. The pressure's on, man. The pressure's yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. 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 How's everyone doing? Woo! Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks for coming along. That first video was shot on a phone just all around my apartment. So, if I have any advice for anyone wanting to make films like that, like just whatever camera you have, get out there, start filming, cut it together. Like, you don't need really nice cameras, you don't need to go someplace like Greenland, you can just go in your backyard. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me here. It's awesome. So, <laughs> none of this would be happening right now if it wasn't for Louis introducing me to daily videos. So, <laughs> uh, and so that highlight reel, reel was ridiculous. It just gets better every year. After after the first ten minutes, I was like, "Yo, it's only in January." Like, still. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I think I should stop talking and just kind of introduce my visual vibes, which. It's kind of difficult to do after last year because Canada Visual Vibes was, went down quite well in Canada. Uh, obviously. Um, and I'm still super proud of it. But I wanted to do, I've been doing a lot of projects this year and I didn't have a whole lot of time for my personal like, Visual Vibes projects. And I just thought, what do you do? You have time, you can shoot a Visual Vibes in a day. So that was the challenge. We got up at like 3.30 in the morning and took Pumba the Land Rover and Sean Sean's Land Rover over to um, a place called Atlantis Dunes, which is about 40 minutes outside of Cape Town in South Africa. And we just shot for the whole day um, until sunset. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so we just finished having lunch and now we're headed out to grab, or not grab, now we're headed out <laughs> to the convention center to see the Women of YouTube uh, screening. It should be really valuable, especially as female content creators. I think they'll have some valuable things to say. Um, and I'm really excited to hear that. So yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Anyways, that's about it for this week. Um, the end of the vlog is a little bit confusing, but basically we went to the 
short film, the Women of YouTube, and travel and adventure screenings and meetups on the last day. All of them were really, really good being able to hear from some of the content creators who inspire me to keep making content, so that was really nice. Feel free to add me up on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook if you want to chat and become best friends. Uh, but besides that, I gotta go and do some assignments because those are due real soon. Uh, but anyways, yeah, see you next week. Bye.